it's Brett and I am back with another weekly video to give you tips and tricks during your wedding planning process. So today my video is for those of you who have booked our in-house coordination. If you don't have that in your package, then you can scroll on over to the next video. This one is for the people who have booked package A and have that in-house coordination included in their package. So what I want to talk to y'all today about is what we do as coordinators and what we don't do as coordinators. I want to make sure that everyone's expectations are on the same page and so I'm just going to go over those things with you. Some things that we do as your coordinator is make a timeline. We're gonna send that timeline to the vendors. You, of course, need to give us those emails. That way we can send it out to those vendors and everyone can be on the same page. If you ever need help picking your vendors, you need recommendations, we can absolutely give you those recommendations. We actually have them on our website as well. So we are gonna make that timeline. We're gonna run the timeline. We're gonna line up the wedding party, cue everyone when to walk up down the aisle. We're gonna help communicate with the DJ when to announce like cake cutting. Hey, it's time to play the father-daughter dance. It's time to play the mother-son dance. It's time for the grand exit. We're gonna keep communicating with all the vendors. We're gonna to talk to catering. Hey, buffet opens in 10 minutes. Are you gonna be ready? No, you're not gonna be ready. Okay, I'm gonna go tell the DJ not to announce buffet opening then to make sure that people are not in line and your caterers is not ready for the buffet to be opened. So we are kind of behind the scenes running the show. We don't really make a big scene about it. We like to just kind of be little sneaky ninjas and make sure that everything is running perfectly without you knowing. So that way, all you have to do is enjoy the night and you don't have to worry about anything. Some things that I just wanna make clear that we don't do is we don't replace vendors. So you still need to hire a DJ. You cannot just give us a phone or a laptop with a playlist and say, hey, can you play this music for me? No, unfortunately we can't do that because we are so busy running around communicating with vendors, making sure that everything is running smoothly. We cannot be in charge of playing a playlist and then we just don't wanna to have to be liable for if the wrong song plays or anything like that. So hiring a professional DJ is still very, very, very important. I cannot stress that enough, especially when it comes to making announcements. You do not want me on a microphone announcing your first dance. I am not the person for that. So call over Kelly, call over Lance, call over Chris, you know, our DJs on our preferred list, and they are definitely the ones to call for that. We also do not replace a florist. I think a lot of people are getting um, the wrong assumption or they're trying to save some money and that's totally fine if you want to save money but having your floors just drop things off and expecting us to decorate no 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 we are not florist guys I cannot decorate with floral for you that is something that you need to pay the florist to do and then you also need to make sure that they are coming back at the end of the night again we don't replace other vendors so for example a photo booth if you want to DIY a photo booth that is totally fine and that is totally up to you to do but then you need to designate someone to be in charge of making sure that area is maintained throughout the event we do not replace like if you hired a legit photo booth company they would have someone making sure that it is attended to we do offer a photo booth through Hidden Creek and if you want to book that then that will have an attendant for it but if you're DIYing a photo booth don't count on us to be the one to run it the whole night because we can't do that if your iPad dies Guys, we're running around making sure that everything else is taken care of. There's a lot that's going on on the day of, so we cannot be in charge of your DIY projects. So it's totally fine if you want to DIY, just making sure that you have a friend or family member who is designated and making sure that that area is set up and maintained throughout the event. We also do not replace bussers. So one thing that I think a lot of people are doing is hiring a catering company who doesn't stay the entire time. Guys, we don't bust tables and take out trash. I am not strong enough to lift those heavy, heavy trash bags into the dumpster. That is going to be your catering's responsibility or that's gonna fall on your family if you don't hire a caterer to do that. And please don't do that to your sweet, sweet family. They don't wanna clean up trash on your wedding day. Just pay your caterer to do it. It is so much easier, I promise. Another thing that we don't do is cut and serve cake. Again, that is going to be catering's responsibility. So I know that I've talked through a lot of what we don't do, but the reason that I'm talking these things through is I wanna make sure that y'all are aware we're not replacing other vendors. We're there kind of as like the ringleader of a circus. You have all of these other acts 
Axe, who are the other vendors, and then we are the ringleader. So we are communicating and making sure all of these vendors are doing what they're supposed to do, telling them when to be ready, telling them you know what song to announce, making sure everyone's lined up in the correct order. Hey, officiant, let me get you a microphone. Let me make sure that you are going to announce everyone to come back inside for the reception. Now I need to go tell catering, hey, um, ceremony ends in three minutes. Do you have appetizers ready? Let me help you get the tea and the water station set up so that way we can be ready on time. If y'all are bringing DIY decor, we are totally happy to help set that up, but make sure that you are giving a realistic time frame. So for example, if you chose our 10 hour package and you're only giving us two hours of setup, but the entire room and all the centerpieces are DIY, that is not gonna work, girl. We need more time than that. So you're getting two coordinators. You get a lead coordinator and assistant coordinator. And we can do a lot, but we are not miracle workers. We cannot set up an entire room in two hours. So then that would mean you either need to give us more time. So I definitely recommend doing at least the 12 hour package in my opinion. I would definitely do at least that. Giving us at least four hours of setup time minimum or then you need to supply some additional help in making sure that everything is set up on time. So let's just make sure that we are all talking these things through, having realistic expectations at your final walkthrough. If you have any specific questions or wondering if we're gonna set certain things up, make sure that you're asking. Communication is key here. This is a two-way street. Make sure that you're bringing in a list of your decor items so that way you can give it to us at the final walkthrough and we can give you a realistic time frame of how much time we think we're gonna need to set up your entire list. So if you can make us a list of everything that you want us to be responsible for, that is totally going to help. I hope that this video helped you out guys and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. 